After weeks of what seemed like slow development, we now know Kanye is 100% locked in on seeing the completion of his new music platform mobile app, and he has even found time to go on a fun little trip with his closest buddies. I love Leaky! So the last we heard about the entire Yeezy app debacle and competition between the Yeezy Vision team and the Yeezy app team, they had officially merged with an Instagram announcement video signaling that big things were about to happen. You should make forgiveness of me. Well, now we know that while the teams were figuring out how to merge and move forward with development, they were also in negotiations with Kanye, who has now actually purchased both in-progress apps. This all comes directly from The Shade Room on Instagram, who posted that merger announcement video, along with a pretty detailed caption that reveals tons of information. So according to The Shade Room's post, Kanye did literally just buy both apps for an undisclosed sum which he plans to merge in order to create his official final platform. This is super intriguing to me because I just have no idea how a deal of this type goes down, specifically how they would decide the worth of in-progress work, and of course I am itching to know the exact numbers of how much was paid to each team, but that will probably never get revealed. Revealed. Later on in the caption, it states Massimo Venezia, who founded the Yeezy Vision app, has been appointed software product lead at Yeezy and will work directly under Ye. And the Shade Room finished it out by stating the app is expected to launch in the next few months. Venza getting appointed as an actual Yeezy department lead just from organizing a fan project is kind of wild to think about and definitely sets a precedent that Kanye will not hesitate to bring you onto the team if he thinks you can do valuable work. And the fact that this caption explicitly states the app is expected to launch in the next few months, I think means we could realistically see the platform up and running for Vultures 2 by the end of May. We know both teams already had some amount of development done, and with official funding and connections now from Kanye, they should be able to speed things up, which will result in the entire rollout going more smoothly. Yesterday, we also got some more word on the whole Egypt Pyramid concert that was cancelled a few weeks ago. This was essentially another similar statement to what we already had, but previously it came from the concert promoters, whereas this time it's from Ticket Egypt, which was the ticketing service being used. In this statement, they reiterate a lot of what we already heard, including that a new date for the show will be announced soon, further confirming that the listening experience is not cancelled cancelled, just mildly postponed. They also include more information about ticket refunds, saying that refunds will only be accepted until April 20th, and after that, they will not be available, which is interesting, and I think could mean that around the 20th or shortly after will be when we get this new show date announced. I can't really think of a reason why they would cut off refunds then, unless the show is likely being rescheduled for some time in late late April or May. Like, if the concert was not going to happen until much later in the year, like June, July, or August, they would probably offer refunds all the way through the end of April and May. But since they're cutting it off, to me, that smells like something is cooking beneath the surface. And finally, Kanye made another lovely public appearance yesterday at Disneyland California, where he brought a whole crew along with him. Oh my God! Kanye! Also present for this Disney trip was Bianca, of course, along with Oz Taylor and Young Lean, who seems to be spending quite a lot of time around Ye recently. The group hit up a carousel ride and made a point to get their picture taken on the Hyperspace Mountain ride, which is just an absolute gem of a photo. It seems Kanye was wearing the white version of a new Yeezy Nylon Anorak pullover jacket that is reportedly supposed to go on sale soon. He's been wearing the black colorway of the 
this sporadically over the past couple weeks, but now with his dedicated shift to white clothing over black, we got to see the white version of the anorak, which is traditionally defined as a pullover hooded jacket. Kanye's been working on some sort of nylon windbreaker jacket style piece for a few years now, and we do know that he always field tests his products before pushing them out to the public. So I would say this is evidence that the new jacket is for sure going on sale very soon. I also want to point out that Kanye last visited Disneyland on December 14th of last year, mere hours before the Vegas Vultures rave. So I think it's entirely possible that something big could happen in the next few days if I am correct about the significance of the Disneyland trips. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think Ye visiting Disneyland means he's about to lock the fuck in.